Excuse me. <laughs> you just leave it there. Good. Yes. All right, we're back at it. It is Kofifi FM 97.2, the KYC. This is what we call it between 2 and 3 o'clock. It is a freight yaha. And uh, yeah, as a big so I can pocket my, yeah, you know. Yeah, it's my we're getting week in full force. <laughs> we're getting through. We're getting through. We're getting through. Whatever it is that you're doing tonight, see yourself at the Roddy Port Theater. You Please. do that. I am so hoping and praying Please. that somebody is going to find it in their hearts to bless me with a ticket. We have a special, or at least I thought, I think we had a yes, special yeah. between 10 and 12. Yes. Where it was buy one, get one free. Yeah. So if you buy one ticket now, you're going to get one free. So hurry up to our offices and make sure you get it for 150, right? Yeah. I am here. Yeah. I will take your free one generously. <laughs> Bless me. Lady Yeromichu Prat in the Tomechia. So, yes, that is the Divas concert tonight. I'm so excited. Yeah. I will probably be there at the door looking through the window if I don't get to go in. But you have to be there. The talent that is going to come, it's going to come with fire by force and by flames. Most deaf. Pop Culture Friday, there's things that has been happening in and around our world, things that are shocking, things that are encouraging. But uh, we keep on doing whatever it is that we yeah. have to do. You know, here's something. And I'm, I'm going to... Let me read Let me read this first. Um, school part. Please uh, just reintroduce. It's, it's, oh, reintrodu- yeah, school part to you. Some of us are school part uh, uh, got her fame. It's, she's a nurse, by the way. Mm. That's her profession. She is a qualified nurse. Uh, but, you know, there's a side to us. We have two sides. Ultra egos, maybe? Yes, yes. So she found herself at the metros and uh, got her fame through a yellow dress that she was wearing, you know, with the slit a major up to... Slit in the thigh. <laughs> <laughs> a slit up to her thigh or up to her waist, yeah. you know, and revealed, could, took certain pictures and certain things to get to where she is she right said, now. Yeah. I suppose it was PR for her, you know, yeah. to push herself to that point. But now, after revealing such such photos, because now if we, if the first image that you throw to us is the image that we are consistently going to hold about you. And that is going to be morally wrong, mind you. Yeah, it's, it is morally if wrong. If you come to me the way you're going to come to me now, uh-huh. you know, yeah, with what you're about to say. Yes. So this is what we've come to know her as mm-hmm. or come to know her for who she is. You know, the revealing lady, the yeah. short skirts. The boda. Yes, the one who just does not care about other pe- people's yeah. opinion. And now we look into the social platforms and today we find that she is ministering somewhere. Oh, she's about to be ordained. Yes, she's a preacher. A she's a preacher. She's a preacher. Now, the question would be to me, uh, based on someone's past, mm-hmm. would you still listen to them if they come to you in a holy Matrimony. <laughs> yes. Would Look, you still listen? To, would you listen to an ex-convict? Yes. Who killed people and murdered people, and comes now and tells you that they have been reformed. Mm-hmm. And now I'm preaching to you. Yeah. Would you listen to me? Here's the thing. We had this conversation, and I, I admit, as people, we are so quick to be like, "Oh hell no!" Uh, but at the same time, I'm pro change. And if you say ex-convict or even ex-prostitute or yeah, whatever, and yeah. now you are a preacher. I must admit, I will, g- and I'm going to be as bluntly, as uh, like as honest as possible, I will go into that sermon like, <clears throat> let me hear what she got to say. But at the end of the day, if we connect spiritually, and I am blessed leaving that service, I am going to be consistent in me attending. You know, it makes me think of someone like Megan Good. She is, and I, like I'm going to just say it the way it is, she's a sex symbol to the world. She's always been, she's an amazingly attractive woman. She's married to a pastor, uh, Devon... What is his surname? But that guy, he's, she's married to a pastor. And she has definitely changed her life. You know, she went from being this vixen, uh, sex symbol, whatever. And now she is, she, she went on a celibacy route and whatever, saying that oh. this is the way I'm going to find my husband. A lot of people discredit her still because she is a very sexy woman. But she she finds herself when she's on the red carpet promoting movies and stuff, she's always got a bit of cleavage. Yes, you yes. know. And again, does that sort of um, neutralize where she stands with God. Mm. Again, who are we to say that? To who call we? Who, who, we? Ma- who, like, who died and made you Oprah? <laughs> Girl! <laughs> like, I'm just saying, I think it's fair to give someone a chance. Yeah. And, you know, you determine based off what they feed you. Because, again, if you're speaking about sp- someone being a priest or a preacher, yeah. if I am not fulfilled, because I'm coming there with my cup empty. Sure. So if you are not filling me up and I'm not spiritually connected to you, I'm going to have to pass. In my heart, and that's the question that we're asking to you, yeah. Kofi Landers out there. Who do you still sit and listen to someone and why? 
give us give us the reason yeah. why would you still sit and listen to an ex prostitute someone who murdered people yeah. and has come out of jail and says now you know i'm reformed my mind is being renewed and all of those things and now i've taken upon another life a higher calling you know you know them for uh, the dirty side of yes. who they are and now they've come back and say this is what i am doing and this is what i'm about right now so i say big ups mm-hmm. to school but you know for being she's very she, she's very motivated I think in, she's in, courageous. In, she's very courageous. I yeah. think that's the word I was looking yeah, for. Hey, Freyta, really come on. <laughs> so if you, wanna, if you want to go ahead and go, you know, listen to the sermon that she'll be preaching. The date is on the 18th of August. Uh, I don't know where it is, but uh, <laughs> find yourself wherever it is. Follow her on Twitter, whatever yes, it is. Follow and find back. yourself there. Now, for people who are making moves and are becoming faces of um, brands. Things and places. Brands. Can, come and ask this before I continue to the story. Uh, if you were given a chance, a platform to become a face of something, what brand would it be and why? Myself. Yes. As a kid, I've always loved Von Dutch, the brand Von Dutch. Uh-huh. I don't remember their hats and the cool skateboard t-shirts. I would definitely want to be something like Von Dutch. Okay. Or like there's this thing called Love Muse. It's an American uh, necklace brand. Yeah. I would want to be for Love Muse. Okay. I love the simplicity of you know these fine details yeah. i love that so that's what i would what would you do i think i'd be the face of kellogg's i, don't I know. knew it was gonna be food <laughs> i just knew it i know it i knew it i sold it i knew it was gonna be food i just see my face on a box of oats or something oats. Yeah. so yeah. you'll be that guy that boy remember that boy the jungle <laughs> boy <laughs> now that's interesting that you say that because <laughs> I think a lot of South Africans are becoming the faces of big yes, things, which is yes, amazing. Yes. So shout out to them. All right. Paul Tusi, who's announced as the face of Cape Town International Film and Market Festival. I think it's a good thing. This year markets uh, marks the 10th year of the inception of the Cape Town International Film and Market um, Festival. And it's being celebrated with a new brand identity. Lovely. For the first time, a brand ambassador who is Paul Tusi. That girl is about big things. Mm. Can we just agree that she is slaying, like, despite the fact that her and Robert aren't together. Yeah. Like, you know, that's a bit of a cry. If I think about it long enough, I can cry, but I won't. So I think that she's part of big things. She's doing what? Quantico? Yeah. I've never seen it. I really, I say I'm gonna, but I never get to it. But shout out to her. I think she's doing great. And she's a great mother. Uh-huh. She is slaying as a mother. I think she's setting a, a, like a really good example for her daughter. Mm. You know, go out and just get what's yours, basically. Talking about mothers. Uh, a mother who is mothering a little boy called Zulu. Her name, <sighs> Nandi Madida has just scored her first radio gig. I I never thought even she wasn't on radio. She has such a beautiful voice. She's, oh, she's just everything about her. Uh. Everything about her. Nandi's amazing. All right, Cape Town, uh, I mean, South Africa presenter Nandi Ngoma has scored her first radio gig with the Coke Radio Studio Hour. The multi-talented celeb made the announcement on Thursday, the 17th of August on her social media accounts. The Coke partnership is with California. Mm -hmm. So it is going to be like worldwide wide that is amazing because mm. if any there's this is elected few people that you can put on a on a global scale and yeah like, i would love for you oh i think you could represent us as south africans i think she is the epitome of the south african woman even in her body yeah do you understand and in her in the etiquette the way she carries herself she's a young mother she is doing an exceptional job so i am pro nandi representing us mm. 30 minutes after the hour of 2 o'clock, it is Kofifi FM 97.2. When we come back from the break, Young CEO is in the building. Uh, and I'm going to put him on, 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 on a tight leash on this one. <laughs> he says he's going to give us one of the best freestyles mm. ever. Mm. There's there's young man that has come into studio. Mm. And we had, uh, what's his name? What's his name? My goodness, he slips, he slips me, he's from Ambitions Records. All right, but I'll come back with his name. But he, he also hoyed a nice, nice freestyle. Last week? Uh, not last week. Oh, no, last he's, week. He's the one before that. Um, goodness, how can Dude. I not know? No. This young man with whole dreads and stuff. Java. Saudi. 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 Oh, Saudi. the blonde dreads. Yeah, Saudi, oh Saudi was in studio and he hoyed, you know, a nice, nice dope uh, flow. So, uh, you will we'll see who's the king at the end of yes, the hour. Yes, Can yes. I just say, if you come, you better come correct. Nine seven point two zero seven one four two five nine.
Friday, where have you gone? 0714 Will you listen to someone that comes from a sketchy past and wants to preach the gospel? And why not?
Stay good. It is 25 minutes before the hour of 3 o'clock. This is Kofifi FM 97.20. Shekina on the background, Costa Dollar, featuring her on the beautiful song titled Oh Baby. Oh Baby. I think Shekina is my woman crush for this week. She has, she has been mine for a long time. <laughs> <laughs> She's got such a beautiful face, eh? <laughs> Like the gods just smiled upon that face. <laughs> Helen of Troy. <laughs> beautiful, beautiful woman. Talking about talent, talking about good things that is happening in our country. There's a young man who is a CEO in his own life. Yes, sir. And we are encouraged to have him in studio right here. How are you doing? I'm doing good. I'm doing good. How are you doing? I'm great. I'm sweet great to man, have you. Sweet, There's a whole lot of things that was happening in the week. We had yes, to have sir. you yesterday here. Yes, sir. But uh, we had to service, you know, the country yes, with sir. the mayor being here in studio. Yeah. But we are blessed that you just took on, you know, the opportunity to come back on a Friday. Mm -hmm. And here you are today. Tell us who you are, where you come from, and what are you all about oh man i am y-o-u-n-g-c-e never forget the o i'm young ceo mr leo johnny mr what? i want you to feel this you know um i am a musician over and above everything uh -huh. i feel like saying i'm a rapper really just puts me in a box you know yeah okay so i'm just a music a musician over and above everything songwriter you know very yeah. passionate guy okay. in all aspects. Uh, you look at the squint in his eyes. It's so <laughs> like, I am feeling it. I really am. I'm just a passionate guy. <laughs> Superman. So where, where did this this music thing start? Um, well, like truly speaking, I didn't understand what it was as well until right. I met another guy who was kind of like me. I always thought like I was just a weird kid growing mm. up. Yeah. You know, I was just like different from everybody. Yeah. So until 2005, I met a guy who was just like me, big afro, long gray socks, very big school shoes and gray shorts. <laughs> you know? So we, we, we found common ground. So okay. basically that's when we started realizing what this hip hop thing is. Yeah. And mm -hmm. We started researching the culture and we actually got taken by it to yeah. this day. So it wasn't a fly by night, like I want to be, because I feel like most of the people are driven by the fame, yes, you know, the yes. ambience of being a yes. rapper. I hate to call you that, but just for the sake of understanding what it is, yes. you, a rapper, like, you know, you got the girls, the booze, whatever, mm -hmm, the mm -hmm. image. Yes. So it wasn't the image that sold you, it was more the art, the craft of it. Yes, it is more the craft that 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 does it for me more mm -hmm. than the ambiance or the glitz or the finesse mm -hmm. as, as they mm. like to say mm. but yeah i'm more of an artistic person i'm a person who really respects the art number one rather yeah. than the glitz yeah and i think that's important like especially in the time that we're in right now more than anything i was saying to elias yesterday that we get people like martin lawrence and and eddie murphy uh -huh. and even was the other one i made an example of with like with regards to the music that was when the art was for the art and uh -huh. now i feel like with uh -huh. a lot of um, artistic things it's more for the ambient i think mm. it's with 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 <clears throat> with the coming of commercialization yes. with it being on tv yeah. and the lifestyle being sold to mm. you mm. i think that's mm. where we all fall into the trap you yeah. know mm -hmm. what i mean like play on trap yeah, yeah. but we all <laughs> gotcha. fall into the trap <laughs> yeah basically so yeah. what wow. kind of music like wh like what's your style of of of, of rap of hip hop what kind like underground obviously mm. not commercial cuz that's we already got that um i'd like to i'd like to call it a cross between conscious and commercial so we call okay. it conscious commercial mm. okay um it's a mix explain that for yeah me. It's, okay. it's basically a mix between actual lyrics that make sense actual lyrics mm -hmm. with meaning all right and not bums and thighs no 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 mm. not at all so it's actual lyrics on on beats that are not necessarily really trapped out mm -hmm. they are more turned down like right. like like a song that i did that was right you know yes yes so something like ride something really turned down something that somebody can really listen and relate mm. to basically yeah and that is coming up soon yes soon, soon, yeah soon. if yeah. you would you say you know you get your nazis you get your yes. what kind of artist would you say you were similar to kendrick lamar Ice. All right, all right. Hey. Yes, man. Yes, man. Okay, I and why? That. <laughs> That's my Buddha. I love Kendra, guys. <laughs> I, I swear I love him. So, And I think that when you say that, I think I have a clear picture of who you are as an artist. Because uh. he is no doubt more about the art. Mm. Yes. And he's yes. made it clear so many times in his work. In yeah. like saying it. So I'm with you. I'm yes, with man. it. Yes, man. I am with it. The mindset of... Um, what we breeding now yes in young rappers people coming up you know they see the aka's the caspers mm -hmm. who has made it now mm -hmm. and i was listening to an interview of caspar that he had on is it 105 or something 105 on on the breakfast club yes, yes. And, yes. and and he made mention that at one point or another he lo he kind of lost it yeah he was in in just swept 
with the let's just do bang bang music yeah, yeah like yeah, a hit yeah. and run type so of thing so basically let's just sell type let's of just music. sell yeah, type of yeah, thing you know yeah. the industry has a kind of a way of sweeping you into that yeah you know and you lose your originality mm-hmm. so you as a, 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 a you know a young ceo who's coming up uh-huh. how are you going to sustain that when fame hits your face never losing self like i come from a very stable background like right. um, i was raised by my grandparents so mm. I basically and I've been making music for a very long time so okay. I basically know how much this means to me yeah. how much it means to the people around me. Yeah. So in terms of getting swept away by the hype or the exposure yeah. or I I really doubt any of that cuz like I believe in the music business and not the music industry. Nice. So we are people that are pushing the music business and not the industry itself. So I really doubt we will get swept swept away by I like thing. I like that you said that because and I'll admit that I sometimes jump on that bandwagon myself when I when I hear of an artist whether he's up and coming or signed. Uh-huh. And I think for the most part you were saying that you're not a, you're about the music business or yes. the music industry. Yes. Would you then say because a lot of people would say because you aren't signed to a popular label because you yes. have your own record label yes, which yes, we'll speak yes. about but a lot of people will say because you are not famous. Yes. You know, we, not everybody knows yes, you. Do yes. you then feel like you as an artist have not made it yet or you are not an artist? Every time I put a song, even if it's just two people that listen to it and mm-hmm. give me positive feedback, like I'm happy with it. Uh-huh. Like yeah. the music is just about touching people at the end of the day. Yeah. So as I as long as I do touch somebody out there, yeah. it's it's okay. Like it's really okay with me. Mm. I love that. I like your mind. And I feel man. like it's honest. I like your mind. You know, I'm I'm mm. with you with yeah. that because I feel like it's so genuine as opposed to the bells and whistles, <laughs> you know? Yes. So I'm with it. 19 before the hour of 2 o'clock. I'm going to give you yes, the privilege sir. to yes, introduce sir. the song that we're about to play now. Um we are about to play something off of the Evils of Lucy my brand new single which is coming alongside about it but this is right produced by China engineered by Genomic Beats enjoy
Now in the studio, Kofifi FM 97.215, before the top of the hour. Tell us more about the song, what inspired it, and what are you talking about? Um, basically, on the song, I'm talking about a serious disagreement that I had with the mother of my kids. All right. Um, basically, I was trying to make her understand, like, how much this means. And regardless of where I am right now in life, like, it will pay off at the end of the day. Mm. So, it's like a little memento for the mother of my kids and my kids to listen to when they grow up as well. Mm-hmm. Right. They start understanding the music. Like, yeah. So that they can try and understand like what type of person their father was like yeah. coming yeah. up and all of that basically. Yeah. I yeah. hate to say it but I love a ode or a respect and honor a tribute whatever you want to call it to a woman. Yes. Because obviously you respect her in yes. that she would even make a song so that she could understand it even more. Yes. So I love that that level of respect towards her. Mm. How does she feel though about your music career and i know the dispute that you said you <laughs> just had but how does she feel though um in the beginning stages i'm gonna be very honest in the uh-huh. beginning stages it was still very very rosy it was still like milk and honey you know yeah. perky but like as time progressed i mean we have kids you know so it's a very stressful factor like in a relationship right. so since we have kids like it's it's very hard for her to understand that i'd rather be in the studio making music oh. than you know, oh. so basically, it's just about trying to make her understand. But right now, um, from her standpoint, like she does not support it. I don't think she does not fully support it. Okay. But she, to a certain extent, she she really just wants me to get a proper job. Yeah. Mm. Proper but person. I mean, I I feel like as women, we we very consequential. So she probably just doesn't want you to go through. Because I mean, the, the struggle is what makes you great. Yeah. So she yeah. probably doesn't want you to go through that because she feels like. Yo, we got kids, yeah. Yeah. you know. No. So that's probably basically that's basic, her probably uh, argument. Basically it, yeah. Tell me about the name Young CEO. Um, okay. Um, the name Young CEO. Well, like from 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 first hearing it, it's it's a very big play on business. Mm-hmm. You know? So it it number one tells you that I'm here for business. All right. And then hence we registered our own record label, and I said to you guys that I'd like the music business more than the music industry okay like i'm a very business orientated person like nice. i love business mm-hmm. you know so even when it comes to music and how i got the name i was actually on the way to a studio session a few years ago i was gonna go record my first song mm. okay and i bumped into i was with my producer and i bumped into this this other female acquaintance of mine and she she asked so guys what do you do i'm like i'm the ceo of the company hey. and then from there yeah. it just it just stuck you know Wow. I love yeah. that. I like these stories of how people get their names. Um, <laughs> last week, I learned that Kevin Hart, yes. believe it or not, was actually supposed to be a stripper what? before he became Kevin Hart. <laughs> and while in his, you know, the come up for his comedian game, he basically called himself something little bastard. Yeah. Mm. So it was like, how do you get to that name? Yeah. And some names yeah. stick. And I think more than anything, saying Yang Si always basically speaking things into existence. Yeah. Like you're yeah. claiming yeah. things yeah. as you go along. So. Yes. I like that. Now we're about to get into the realness of life. Uh Uh-oh. Uh-oh. It's about to get a bit raw. Uh Uh-oh. It's about to get a bit tasteful. Here we go. For those of you who has the ear for, uh, what do you call it? For for rhythm. Yes. The ear for... For flow. For flow. Yes. For bars. Yes. Ah, It's about to happen right now. It is what, 14... 49? Yes. Mark this on your calendars, yes, wherever true. it is that you are. It's He's about down. to be recorded. 0714259577. We want to know mm-hmm. your, uh, not interpretation, but what do you think about the flow that's about to happen right now? We want to know what do you think about it. His name is Young CEO. Yes. He's in studio with us. I want you to feel it. I was about to rub the mic. Mr. Feel it. I want you to feel it, little Johnny. I told him. God level on all level. Hey, hey, all right, look, it's what I tell him, look, no pressure, quick sneeze, oh Lord bless ya, don't let the semi wet ya, give me brain, call up professor, hey, my ting thick, thicker than mini, Lamini, they Stevie, claiming they see me, ain't easy, keeping this greasy, hey, so, the squad, this nigga, the ninth guard, still kicking it like raw, killing me quite hard, hey, a black hippie back sippy on black whiskey. I got the pack with me. We out here, we killing rookies. Hey, uh. out here 97 2 go Fifi. Chanel number five. She tell me, boy, it's a secret. Shh, keep it. 
never believe it. This type of stuff need God for you to receive it. It's holy, God level on all level. My niggas trying to shine, get millions in all kennels. Rubies that all bezels, AR with gold medals. Ice, ice, my nigga can't touch us, Geppetto, how we play these puppets and we bring it back like a spine no i had to kill it from the hot nine nine i rhyme i shine every time i blow a landmine if you step on me i blow yeah call me landmine and when i land mine yeah you know i land fine because i'm trying to make money that's past grands nine i mean that's 10 11 12 on to another number i'll bring it back wake you up from your slumber Black hippie, back sippy on black whiskey. I told you I'm out shit. I got the pack with me. Hey. Yeah. Take your mask off. Take your mask off. off. Guys, oh my can word. I just say that it is something for you to be oh able my to word. be that on the ball mm. with your flow like that. So, oh my word. I mean, I'm impressed. No, that was sick. <laughs> I'm that just saying. was sick. Yeah, yeah. My yeah. goodness, that was great, eh? Yeah, mm. yeah. That was just pure genuine, you know. We can wow. go all day, though. We can go all day. We can go all day. <laughs> I love your passion, though, eh? <laughs> Thank you. Thank like, you. you get that I'm pushing passion about you. Mm -hmm. I like that because that's important, I think. Yeah, thank you very much. You know, passion and efforts. That's that's the, you know? Most deaf. All right, 97.2 Kofifi FM. Hit us! 0714259577. You want to read something for us? Yes, I do. We asked the question, basically, would you listen to yes. an ex-convict prostitute basically giving you the gospel? Uh -huh. And we have Priscilla from Pennyville, I think, that says, good afternoon, guys. I would listen to a sermon or, uh, of a person like Skolpat because she's not confined by the world anymore. And remember that Pastor Ralph and Kramber, uh, who wrote the book, uh, and most of us are old gangsters in Western Reform pastors today and has saved our souls it's uh -huh. not who we preach it's the word and if you give your life to jesus it does not matter where you come from in your past the bible says muni oordeel ni want for yourself fan for yourself <laughs> sorry guys <laughs> let me go again muni oordeel ni fan for yourself fair oordeel uh priscilla Oh, nice, nice. That's what she I suppose says. just to correct that, it's not who preaches, mm -hmm. not who we preach. Mm -hmm. You, are, the thing beautiful is, thing. We, beautiful. we understand that I am just a messenger. I am not God. Uh -huh. Like I am the word is, you know, take what I give you with, with regards yeah. to the principle and not the vessel. Like, but you know, you us know? as as human beings, we 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 always look face value. That's what I was we saying. Always we always judgmental because I'll yeah. walk up in that judge like, let me see what young girl got. Yeah. You know, and anytime she says something that I know is profound, I'll be like, but you're a prostitute, mm. you know, mm. and that's not fair. But I'm, I'm, I'm honest in saying that that's how I would probably do with it, do it, or some of us do it in general. Huh? So, you know, just the honesty. We have a birthday message that says, um, hi, Kola and crew. Happy birthday to Shani or Shani out in Western. Enjoy girl. Hope mommy Lucille spoils you. All right, let's go for a break. Coming back on the other side is seven minutes before the top of the hour.
Did I say that correctly? As is when. Yes, I did. I'm sure you did. Yes, I did. Welcome back. Coffee Fee FM 97.2071425957. Double seven. The young CEO is still in studio. Nicole, yes, are you good? Nah, I am just trying to breathe up in this place because <laughs> the flames and the fires. I mean, that freestyle was dope. Can we agree that it was, it was super. dope? It was super. It was. <laughs> uh, we got another birthday message. I just want to say this. Say it. Des, if you are listening, my love, something like a love. <laughs> I'm going to be using something like a lot. So it's something like a birthday. It says, hey, Big Daddy and Cola, please wish Lincoln a happy birthday. May God ple- may, may God always be with him. Dede from Westbury. Happy birthday, guys. It is that time of the month. Where people okay, go Westbury. Westbury. Best bear. The cheese, the cuss. <laughs> Do, Doma says, Doma says, you know Doma. Mm-hmm. He says, well, who don't know Doma it's though? West, Westbury Hills. Uh, <laughs> maybe that's part where he's staying, but where I am staying. <laughs> 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 I All right, we're about, we about to get out of here. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you so much for being with us. But we need to say thank you to you, mm-hmm. uh, CEO. I think I think at one point or another, you just take the young out. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Be yeah. what you are. Like, we're going to get to a point where we take it out. Believe you me, I yeah. can't be young forever. Because I, 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 I looked at pro kids, uh, you know, future when it was coming up. Oh, look at the kid. Pro kid. Yeah, and then he just took out the kid. Yeah, pro yeah, man. Yeah, <laughs> 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 but tell us a little bit of uh, about um, the company okay that you guys have started where can people find you and what is happening okay the name of the company is god level records so okay. that's how you search it on facebook as well god Just level god records space level space records all right our contact number is 079-536-8057 nice. um you can find ceo on facebook young COSA. you can find him on twitter at young ceo underscore sa you can find me on the gram you can find me at at ceo underscore global i've got a blog on web on wordpress it's mm-hmm. called um i want you to fill it okay it's the name of the blog so you can go check us out there all the social media networks we're there we're there basically mm. yeah thank you so I much thank you, you so much it. man thank you so all much right. have yourself a great weekend you and too. whatever it is that you're doing let it be responsible all right we appreciate you guys letting thank us you come so through much yo. for coming out guys there we go, there we go. and to you real. the coffee Philanders out there thank you so much and we're meeting tonight at seven o'clock is it seven o'clock i will see you by the door it is uh, at 7 p.m uh-huh. Port theater yes ma'am uh we are still having some tickets guys we are giving tickets maybe you can give me one if you have gotten <laughs> one i am still <laughs> trying to find Actually, I'm trying to get clarity now. Yeah. Because I had someone who was so kind to give me this. So yeah. I'm just trying to claim my prize. I'm going to roll like a lion if I don't. So, yeah, man. We're seeing you guys at the Diva Show All this right. evening. So it's going to be real. Okay. Have yourself a great day, Reggie. And uh, the whole crew, Lee, 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 and Karabo Pasha is Lee, coming Lee, up. Lee. <laughs> Lee and Lee, Lee, Lee. <laughs> They're coming up next at 3 o'clock. They call themselves the K-Drivers between 3 and 6 o'clock. And they will be your companions. They will be your friends. They will be your choos between those times. Have yourself a great weekend. Enjoy everything. If it's cold, please dress up. Be a warm. polo neck. I am wearing it today. Turtleneck is my friend. <laughs> there we go. We're out of here. Have yourself a great one.